today let's have a look around the allotment and see what's going on at the moment such a gorgeous day on the plot I can't actually believe that tomorrow the temperature is going to change especially in the lights can it actually go out to freezing I think we're only uh, due for it to go down to about two or three so we'll see what next week brings. Now let's have a look at my tree lily. Uh, still seems to have a few holes in it but I don't know if they are from previous or current issues with lily beetle. I can't see any and they're bright red. They're usually quite easy to spot. So hopefully that spray's got rid of them. So we've got some bluebells there coming along. And um, I think they're three-cornered leaves of wild garlic, I'm not sure. needs a good weeding. And there's loads of flowers on my um, elderflower so hopefully those will be coming out soon. Treating this more like a bush. I couldn't move it this year. two years ago it was just a twig. Hard to believe something that huge it was just a twig. So we've also done the net tunnel. We've weeded in front of it, planted some potatoes in front of it. So I just haven't been able to get the potato bed on the other plot ready in time. Then in the net tunnel, we've got the sprouts, kale, and everything else, weeds, and the sacrificial ones that are put in the middle seem to be doing well, so I might not sacrifice them, maybe I'll just plant them somewhere else, we'll see. So that's enough of the net tunnel. some cooch grass still, but the ochre is planted in here, so we'll see when that comes up, hopefully soon. Now there's a weed, that might be one. Looks ochre-ish. And around here, bed again. Just chuck some in around here. Then my bleeding crops were starting to die in the greenhouse because it was just too hot and sunny for them. So they've been moved around here. Now it's sunny at the moment. So from first thing in the morning to midday-ish the sun will come round here and then the shed or block the light there on the worst of the sun. So they should be doing okay. Got loads of black currants on the black currant bush. Which is looking good. I'm gonna have to move that peach tree back into the polytunnel, especially if it's gonna be cold. But I think that all the flowers are gone. Then we've got my fig, which seems to be doing quite well. Lots and lots of leaves coming through. And where were the shield bugs? I'm sure there was a fruit around here somewhere. And we've got this pallet around the back of the polytunnel. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with it. 
that's what the compost came on. And we've got last year's carrots which need to come out. I need to plant some new ones. One of my new raised beds. They always seem to get a couple of weeds in them. For some reason my lettuce keeps keeps disappearing. I don't know where that pot came from. There was loads of lettuce planted in here and I've only got three left, which is strange. And I uh, planted some radishes. And we've got the pot peas. And I used my own compost that I made in the compost bin for this raised bed. And uh, maybe I needed to put a lot of new compost on the top as a mulch because this is crazy weedy. But everything's growing. Got random potatoes. Got the Lola Rosso lettuce, some beetroot. I think there's some radishes around here. Big ones. It was. Some of the lettuce has got a bit warm by here, so I don't think this is the place for lettuce. Maybe once these are done, I'll plant some beetroot in there. Then I've got some parsnip seeds in here, so I'll have to see how those do. And these are my first early potatoes in pots, because it's going to freeze or be very cold over the weekend. I'm actually going to move those into the greenhouse and hope they're okay. Then we've got, I didn't want a strawberry bed here, but I had so many strawberries that it just seemed a waste to leave them. So there's strawberries in there. Then my sweet peas did really, really badly. Oop, I always kick that door. So I've planted some morning glory plants. Now the seeds were about five years old, I found them. So I thought I'd give them a go. And uh, they're coming up really well. And we've got some rainbow chard in there, which I'm going to plant out. I planted some cornflowers in there, but they're quite old seeds, so I don't know if they'll come. And we've got some night scented stock, which I've planted in here. That seems to be going okay. Then here is the sunflowers. Now I put where is it? Nematodes in here. And I can't find the packet. They're slug nematodes, nema slug. I'll put a picture up on the screen for you. And I watered it into the green earth, watered it into the potato beds, and hopefully it should keep the slug population down this year. Sorry, my hay fever is terrible today. I can't stop sniffing. Either sniffing is cold, sniffing is a hay fever, sniffing all the flaming time. So, anyway, these are my um, sunflowers for the sunflower challenge that I planted the other week. And although there was slug trails on it, and I did see some slugs after I applied the nematodes, they seem to have disappeared and not even touched the sunflowers. And they're both doing really well, so I don't know which one I'm going to pick out of those two to grow on, but we shall see. There uh, we've got, oh, it's the Mongolian giant sunflowers. Then we've got some more stuff in there. The runner beans, some more sunflowers, a lily that I got from the allotment. And here we have the tomatoes, which are actually starting to flower now which I really need to get those in but I'm going to wait just a week more so next week next week everything's going in and we've got 
some sunflowers. The cobra beans don't seem to be doing too well. So I might have to plant some more of those. And the celery is just coming up there. Then we have some velocity beans and sweet corn. Some more tomatoes. And the sprouts are going to have to go out. They're just getting too hot in here. And the leeks need to go out too. So this is the bean bed. It was rotivated and I hoed down the weeds yesterday. Still a few still there but I'll get them again today. Just got to keep hoeing over them to uh, keep them down. Which is something I forget to do a lot. Like in this bit. Now I've actually finished weed in this, well mostly I see a few still there, I think they need a good drink of water as well. The soil is quite dry at the moment, we're absolutely dying for some rain. Right, so yesterday with the threat of this cold weather and maybe a frost, I managed to earth up the potatoes as much as I could because they're growing extremely well. So I suppose if we lose a couple of leaves at the top, it's not too bad. And the chives over here doing really well, as you would expect. So we've got the garlic chives, which are the slightly thicker ones, and then the oniony chives, or well, normal chives. And they're flowering away last year. I think I made this Zora from By the Farms um, chai vinegar and that was absolutely gorgeous so I might pick the heads off these and make some more of that again. Then over here we've got the obelisks. I'm thinking of weeding in the middle and planting some lettuce in there because the peas should give them some shade. So the slugs did start eating these peas and they picked them all out from by here so I'll have to replant those but the rest of them seem to be coming up just, just look how dry that soil is see all the peas around here I think these are the tall peas the alderman ones then this is the flower bed planting the sweet peas from what I've got of them, not many, and uh, morning glory flowers there. We've got a lupin coming up nicely there. All the daffodils and stuff are still here, still need to do some weeding. But these lupins are doing absolutely fantastic. You can have some gorgeous flowers off those. Blue Moon Rose, which looks like it's gonna flower soon. And the Apple Blossom stuff, or is it Snapdragons? And the Cape Daisy going strong. So are all the weeds. We need to water that Delphinium, which I planted in the middle there. Sorry for itself. And the, oh, I always forgot what they're called, artichoke, globe artichoke, that one is. That's doing well. Oh, and I just noticed one of my lilies has come up. Oh no, lily beetle. And I've sprayed everything, but the top is obviously still uh, growing, so that would have missed it. So they seem to be at the top, or at least that little one is. Right, we'll get the spray out. Seems to kill them quite quickly. And then we've got a very eaten lily. Not looking happy there at all. Maybe it's not wet enough. I don't know. But that's pop wood. So, in this bottle, I have a mixture of oil, water, 
garlic and washing up liquid. Now the garlic is one of those essence things, so it's not actually garlic. Oops. So we're going to spray this on the asparagus with this flip sprayer. get rid of the asparagus beetle and try it on the tree lilies because that definitely worked you didn't see any more till the top growth so I'm just gonna go and spray them come back so I don't know if this is working they seem to have just fallen to the ground don't know if it's killed them that one looks like it might be dying it might just be hiding it's just upside down so I've also sprayed the tree lilies because they were getting some top growth can't see any more lily beetles but they tend to drop to the ground and there's one hiding. So I don't know if I got him with the spray. Might have. Oh, it looks like we'll be getting apples on the Red Love era. Let's go and have a look down the other plot. So uh, this is plot three, looks like we've got some chives, I don't know what these are, and the blackberry seems to be doing well. Now I know you're going to be impressed, really impressed, with the amount of mare's tail that I've been able to grow. Just look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to have to try pulling up some of that. I mean I even put cardboard down on this. And uh, it seems to still be coming through. Pretty well. Right, so these are the broad beans. And they're flowering nicely and looks like I've actually got some beans down there. Old beans, mare's tail and garlic. Impressive. Oh, just look at this mare's tail man. Oh god. What have I done? here we've got plot two and uh, for some reason the fence has disappeared okay weird and we've got the grapevine potatoes coming up in the strawberry bed not sure why my compost bin is there weird and uh, then we've got all the fruits and um, someone gave me one of these 
long pieces of wood so I can make a thing for the grapevine. And uh, yeah, that's gone too, I think. Unless I put it up here. Comfrey's doing well, need to cut that back because my plum tree doesn't seem to like it. Don't blame it really. Maybe I put it a bit close. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going missing lately and I am getting really sick of it because we're not having break-ins it is people just taking so yeah i didn't pay for it but someone did and they gave that to me and someone has just picked it up and taken it so i i'm not impressed with that stop touching my stuff so we got some gooseberries. I think these are the red gooseberries. Little plum tree. Blueberries. Have a look if there's anything on the pear tree. There's lots of flowers on it. Hmm, can't see anything but... Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. There's a pea. Well, I'm going to do the thanks for watching, liking and subscribing right now, just after I finish my intro, just because it is so hot today that I'm sure by the end of the day I'm going to look like a sweaty blob. So it'll be much nicer for you to see me like this, all chilled out, ready to start the day. But thanks for watching, see you in the next video.